the double circulation system by kscience.com. Humans have a heart. We also have lungs, one heart and two lungs. The left side of the heart, as shown in red, pumps blood around the body, which I'm going to show now. Oxygenated blood is pumped from the left side of the heart, in this case to the brain, which needs blood because it is delivering oxygen and glucose to the respiring cells of the brain. I'm showing the return of the oxygenated blood back to the heart via veins. The oxygenated blood has now been returned back to the heart, the right side of the heart. The right side of the heart now pumps blood to the lungs. It pumps deoxygenated blood, blood without oxygen, to the lungs to become oxygenated. In the lungs, blood becomes oxygenated. The blood picks up oxygen. This oxygenated blood is then returned back to the heart, whereby the heart then pumps the oxygenated blood around the body to supply respiring cells with oxygen and glucose. The oxygenated blood is then returned back to the right side of the heart. The oxygenated blood is then pumped to the lungs to become oxygenated. The oxygenated blood is then pumped back to the heart from the lungs. This oxygenated blood is then pumped around the body to respiring cells, especially organs and muscles. The oxygenated blood is then returned from the muscles and organs like the liver back to the right side of the heart where it is pumped to the lungs to get oxygenated once more. We call our circulatory system a double circulatory system because we've got two circuits connected via the right and left side of the heart, whereby the right side of the heart pumps blood to the lungs to get oxygenated, whereas the left side of the heart pumps blood around the body to supply organs and respiring cells with oxygen and glucose and remove CO2 back to the lungs to be breathed out. This is a diagram of the double circulatory system that you have to be able to interpret. So our heart has a left side and a right side where oxygenated blood is going to be transported from the lungs to the left side of the heart and oxygenated blood is then going to be pumped around the body to organs and muscles and other respiring cells. So remember, the left side pumps oxygenated blood around the body. The blood then enters the capillaries that surround the organs where oxygenated blood is going to supply those organs or muscles or respiring cells with oxygen and glucose for respiration. This blue color here represents the oxygenated blood, although the oxygenated blood is not blue. This is just to represent the difference. So the oxygenated blood returns from the respiring cells back to the right side of the heart. So remember, the oxygenated blood is returned to the heart. The right side of the heart will then pump the oxygenated blood to the lungs. So the lungs here are receiving the oxygenated blood and then the lungs are going to oxygenate that blood. So the blue here represents, it isn't blue, but it represents the oxygenated blood. So the oxygenated blood enters the lungs and once it's oxygenated, oxygenated blood will leave the lungs and go back to the heart. So oxygenated blood is going to be returned to the left side of the heart and then the left side of the heart is going to pump oxygenated blood around the body. The respiring cells are going to utilize the oxygen and glucose for respiration. The oxygenated blood is then returned back to the right side of the heart and the right side of the heart pumps the blood which is deoxygenated to the lungs to get oxygenated again and that is the full cycle of the double circulatory system.